With sorrows and song, Scotland bids emotional farewell to our Queen. The people of Scotland, from Prime Minister to benefit claimants, have said an emotional goodbye to their Queen, as her coffin was set at rest in the Paris Church of Edinburgh, where she was first given the Scottish crown 69 years ago. Palms the Queen used to sing in Catherine Kirk on the Balmoral Estates were set to soaring organ music as hundreds of dignitaries attended a service of thanksgiving for a life at the St. Gill's Cathedral. Thousands of members of what the minister of St. Gill's, Callum MacLeodo, described as a soaring nation, with pack-pack filled with sandwiches and foldable beach chairs, queue patiently to file past and say farewell. Among those paying their respect in the Gothic Cathedral, known as the High Kirk of Edinburgh, was Gordon Brown, who stood with jaw fixed watching King Charles and his sibling walk behind their mother's coffin, as it was carefully inched onto a catafalque to lay at rest for 24 hours. Also planning to say goodbye was Gary Bishdall, a recently homeless person who joined the snacking queue of people waiting to walk past her coffin to simply say thank you. And there was Simon Cook, who had brought these three teenage children from Livingston to witness what his 18-year-old son Connor said was a bit of history. She was our queen, but she was also part of something so much bigger, Simon said. This is a massive ship for the country and the world. At 3.15, the queen's coffin dropped in the Royal Standard of Scotland, was borne slowly into the chancel by eight military personnel and lift into place amid a forest of sandstone column. It was the start of a process of Duke of York was here describing to a member of the public at Balmoral on Saturday as handing her on from the family. As King Charles, Camilla, the Queen Consort, and other members of the party looked on, the Scottish crown, which dates to 1540s and James V, was placed gently on top. Alongside, it was a wreath of white roses, chrysanthemum dried white lavender from Balmoral and rosemary. The service pulls with history. MacLeo reminded the congregations that the cathedral had been the place where John Knox confront Mary Queen of Scott and where Oliver Cromwell preached. There was the 17th century music of Henry Purcell, Thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our heart, which was sung with breathtaking beauty by the choir as the congregation fell and remained completely silenced for 45 minutes before the cortege arrived. Again and again, there were moments in the hour-long service when Scotland seemed to firmly embrace the Queen. Karen Matheson, the popular and charismatic singer who rose to fame with the folk group Capper Cali, and an outspoke supporter of Scottish independence, sang in Gaelic, a haunting version of Palms. We gather to bid Scotland farewell to our late monarch who loved for Scotland was legendary, said Mick Leod. On the other side of the coffin sat the Prime Minister, Liz Trust, who less than a week ago was shaking the Queen's hand after being asked to form a new government. Now she was mourning the longest reign of a monarch in British history. In the next seat sat Nicola Sturgeon, the first minister of Scotland, who gave a reading from Escalades III. It was only possible to imagine King Charles thought as she concluded with the line, that which is already has been, that which is to be already is. Sturgeon bowed to the Queen's coffin when she returned to her seat. The Queen Consort and Countess of Wisa sat on seats opposite the coffin, while the vigil, which began at 7.46 p.m. and finished at 7.56 p.m., took place. The archer have been completing 20-minute sheaf of standing guard at the coffin. Among those queuing earlier in the days was Joe William, 41, a former prison officer who had driven up from Manchester on Sunday night and was in the queue for the cathedral by 5.45 a.m. Cresswell, who live in Edinburgh, said the Queen's death at Balmora allow her a Scottish farewell. 
Even like this can be every London centric, but the Queen had a very personal connection to people of Scotland. Was there was a great respect. She was also one of us. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.